Hey, what's up everyone? Red Zone Gaming here, and today I'm going to do a little bit of um, a video that's a little different than what I usually normally do. Um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to code a password lock in um, x86 assembly, 8086 assembly. Um, this one will be for use in uh, DOSBox. Um, so here it is, you can see uh, right now. So um, if I enter the wrong character, it does this, and it pretty much freezes the entire thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and restart DOSBox. Now if we enter the correct password, then we go, then we get into our DOSBox just fine. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, that program. So what you're going to need to start out with is um, the ability to type, which I don't have today. Um, and um, Massim and um, basically assembly compiler. So where you can get that is um, here. Let me open that up right now. You can get it from this uh, Dropbox link right here, which um, I uh, did not provide. Uh, basically, you search um, uh, Massim for DOS, then you'll eventually come across a video that has a download for one. Okay, so let's get right into uh, coding the program. So we're going to edit, um, I'm just going to call this lock.asm. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, do the, the base code for pretty much every assembly program. And then the uh, data segment. Code segment. Okay, so now we're going to set up our messages that we want. So um, I'm going to set up like one for entering the password, where it says enter password, so I'm going to call this uh, ESW, or enter, actually. Yeah, enter. Okay. Now we're going to say that it's a data byte. Yeah. And, um, and these basically are... Um, it, it basically it, uh, lets the... It's kind of hard to explain, but it's like almost like a carriage return. Um, well, one of them is actually, and it, it lets DOS know um, pretty much what this is. And, and let's say we we, uh, we draw another string, it'll know where to put it after this one. So let's type in enter password. Let's make this look nice here. There we go. So now, uh, just for um, ease of being able to see better, I actually like to uh, write my assembly in uh, in all caps sometimes. So that's what we're gonna do here. So in order to print that to the screen, we're going to move our uh, we're gonna move nine H into our um, a high register. And basically, what nine H is it, it is uh, it's the, the print it's the, the print function. Okay, now we're going to, now the print function takes another register to know what to print. So in this case, we're going to pass it DX, which is our um, data register. So we're going to pass integer, offset of integer. I cannot type it. Okay. Now, in order to run this, we have to call um, interrupt 21H. So after you write your, your code, going to write at the end in and this way it knows also don't forget to um, call the operating system back or DOS will freeze so we do that by that this is the address of the operating system and then we just interrupt back into DOS okay so now we compile that and it worked just fine and we're going to link it and this turns it into an uh, exe and then when we run it you can see all this random stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and fix that. Noob mistake. I forgot to load in. That's, yeah, that's what happens if you uh, alt tab out of uh, DOS box. All right. So now let's do the uh, initialization code. We're gonna move our um, move our our data into the. Uh, Accumulate. Okay, and then we're going to move that into our data segment, and that should get rid of all that randomness. So 
See? There you go. <clears throat> Alright, so that's, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the user input, but we're actually going to create a, um, um, we're going to just create more, um, text here so that we know what's going on. And I'm going to make this capital. Uh, there we go. So instead of using uh, mod to do that, we're actually going to load uh, load an effective address. And this is just a quicker way of loading an offset value. So we're going to load enter into GX just like that. Now we want to make because we want our uh, our password to have little asterisks when we type. So I'm just going to define one as um, just you know, th these don't have to be a uh, uh, capital by the way they're not case sensitive but um, for this uh, code up, that's what I'm going to do so now we're just going to have the basic star here if I can find that right here. okay so then we're going to put in our carriage return Now, for this, we don't want he these here, because it's going to think it's an entire sentence. So if we try to put another star, it's going to space it away from the other one. But if you don't put any of this here, it's not going to try to space anything away. And then we'll, we'll be able to just add on to uh, the star at that location. Almost like keep drawing it. So now we want to define what our password is. So in this case, it's going to be YouTube. Up oh, caps. This one does. Okay. Well, that should pretty much be all we need. For this. <coughs> all right. So now we want to um, move this to the uh, exit. Move. Oh, the exit label. And. We're going to create a compare, because this compares the user's input. So we're going to go ahead and get the user's input first. But actually, um, before we do that, we want to make sure that we've loaded the password into memory so that we actually can compare. So after we print, um, actually before, I'm going to go ahead and load everything now. So first thing that we're going to do is load in how big the password is so we know how much uh, letters to actually compare. Now you can do this um, you can, with just a couple lines of code. You can detect how long the password is automatically, but it, it's very slow on execution if you do that. It's best to just put in a raw value. So I'm just going to do seven because YouTube is uh, seven uh, characters long. Okay. Now what we're going to do is load in um, the password, so the offset of our password into the I. Alright, so after that's done, then we're going to jump right into compare. We're going to move um, into DL um, the address of DI, which is going to be the, uh, a byte in like YouTube. So for instance, Y O U or you know any character in that. So then we're going to call a read character. On the screen and then I'm going to make sure that's executed and then the character that's read is going to be stored to a low or al so we're going to compare those two values we're going to compare um, the user inputted with the value we've gotten from the byte and um, pass and if it is equal then we're going to jump to check to make sure that we're not on the last um, yeah, to make sure that we're not on the last one. If we are on the last one, it's just going to jump to done. And else if it's incorrect, then um, we're going to jump up to the start. So we're going to jump to start. Okay. So now we're going to make a, uh, a check. And we're going to make sure this is not the last one. So we're going to compare. Actually, we're going to compare our counter to 1 and that means that we're on the last one if so we're just going to jump to done 
But if we're not, then we're going to decrement our counter by uh, today. And we're going to add. Um, uh, this is good. This, remember, this is our, our byte address um, to our password. So we're just going to add one to it. So it's going to move to the next character. And then we're going to jump back up to compare for the next value. So now we're going to uh, get done here. Now, if you want, you can have it print something um, when we're done. So, like, correct. I'll just have, like, it, uh, we call this, uh, yeah, why not? Or, or correct. And let's just put it in that. Correct. There we go. Simple as that. Now we also have to put in the uh, line insurance and stuff like that. Now we're going to load that into um, memory. And we're going to uh, print that. Remember, load effective address is the same thing as loading a value from the data a segment with an offset. So this one seems to be correct. And then we're going to call print on that. And we're going to jump. Actually, we don't even have to jump. Exit's right below us. So we can just fall into the exit. And it work just fine. Alright, so now for um, every single time we type something, if we get it correct, we're going to print a little star. So after, so in check, in check, um, and we're going to print star. So it's, it's, the printing a star is the same thing as all the other ones. And then we're going to load effective address. At, um, Yes. Okay. And then our star. And we're going to enter. Not 31, 21. Alright, so um, what you actually want to do is switch the order of this. So compare DL to AL. And, um, yeah. That should be it. So we'll try after that. Let's go ahead and test it. We're going to. So if we enter something wrong, um, I have it set up to just end, but if we enter the right things, see, it says correct. So you just want to change this instead of jump exit to jump start. And that should be it. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, um, remember to subscribe if you like the content that I post, and uh, Red Zone out.